the session. Okay, here one. There are some queries I want to clear from you people. It's very important for you. Okay. So who one give me answer about this? Let me try. Okay, yes, brother. Now you 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 tell me. I will draw the line. Okay, I will draw your diagram. Bullish effort is less than bullish result. It means low bullish volume and long bullish spread. Very good. Okay, it means you understand this concept. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now here we can confirm all the things. Now from this statement, if I draw some more statement, you can consider these are the uh, things. If you have a, a pen and paper, you can write these statements. These are very important. So these are the two statements. In this statement, bullish effort is less than the bullish result, and there is a bullish effort is greater than the bullish result. Okay. Now, on the bullish world, you can write the bearish. The bearish effort is less than the bearish bullish uh, bearish result, and the bearish effort uh, effort is greater than the bearish result. So, how many statement you get? Four statement you get. Okay, that is a work. That is a work assignment for you people. The assignment is that in the chart, how you complete this assignment. I'm going to the chart. Now we are comparing two candles. In this candle, there is a volume bar. So that is the effort of this result. And now that is the result and that is the effort. Okay, Zakir, uh, tell me. Tell me about this. Yes, sir. This there is anomaly, sir. Here, here we are getting uh, uh, bullish. I mean. Uh, Effort is greater greater than the uh, less than effort is greater than the uh, results. Sir. Yes, it means here effort is greater than the result. So it may be the cause. Then in near future market will change the direction. Am I right? Yes, sir. So members look at this scenario. In this candle there is a effort. In this high much so much. Wide spread, the effort is very equal to the previous candle. The anomaly between two candles here we found. Again, this small spread wide spread candle have a high volume. There is anomaly again. So these two anomalies in the trend what shows? It shows in near future market will change the direction. This trend will not go longer. The trend will change the direction. Okay, so you, what you will do in the assignment, you will do just compare one candle. Just compare one candle and their volume to understand the four statement which I give you here. If you compare to these candles, it means you you must compare two candles and you will see the results. You must take the picture of this candle. Take the pictures, highlight these pictures. So here you see the effort is greater and the result is smaller. And here, uh, yes. But but the next two candle I saw these two candle are valid uh, valid right? Yes, I I declare one thing here. All member must know, brother. 
I will clear all the strategies. Note down these things. These are very important. So here, sometime in the sum setup, you will find the immediate reversal. And in the sum, in the sum setup, you will find a near future reversal. So look at, if I'm right, then in near future, do you find the downtrend? If in this, if in this trend, there is a something wrong. The market is not moving as per the law. So after one or two minutes, do you find the downtrend? So that is the reason. When market change the direction, when market is not moving with the rules, the volume shows us that market is not moving with the rules. So it will change the direction. You just to understand that sometime you will find the immediate reversal. After one candle, you will find the reversal. And sometime you will find the in near future change. In near future change, it means you can place a five minute trade there. When I give you setup about the immediate reversal, then you can place a one minute trade. But when I give you the setup in near future trading, then you can place a three minute, five minute as per the setup, you can place the trade. It means in this volume analysis, I will give you 18 strategies. In the 18 strategies, all the strategies have different time duration, different expiry times. Okay. So concentration on the assignment. Assignment is very important. That is the base. In this comparison, you can understand that bullish result is high. Bullish result is high or oh, bullish effort is high result is less here in this candle as compared to the previous candle the bullish effort is less but the bullish result is high when the reversal will come that is another thing i will teach you before we just to create the comparison that how we comparing the candles if you don't compare the right way, you cannot find the reversal. In this candle, if this spread is a larger as compared to this spread, the effort is less than the result. Here, the effort is high than the result. There is anomaly between two candles. You find the change. In this candle, This is a low spread bar. The volume you note down, that is a volume. But this candle have a wide spread as compared to this candle. The volume is low. What is sign? It means the reversal. The market will change the direction because we found the anomalies from second candle, second, third, fourth, five. It means from here we are finding the anomalies between the candles. And the result, after this result, you will find the movement in up direction. So if I ask you, what is the cause of these green candles? Who won say me? What was the cause of these green candles to go in up direction? Anyone? Yes, Demand, okay. Okay, demand. demand. Any other? Any other member? Brothers, as much as you talk with me, you will understand more. It's very because important. Because anomaly, sir. Because, right? yes, anomaly you find in the previous trend. That is the cause. It means sellers are imbalanced. Sellers are imbalanced. Imbalance 
the concept. There is the concept of the imbalance. When supply is imbalanced, you will find the demand. When demand is imbalanced, you will find the supply. The imbalance between supply and the demand. If the demand is imbalanced here, you will find the supply. When the supply is imbalanced here, you will find the demand. So that is the process of the imbalance. Okay? In these candles now, look at the candles. Now candles will give you information very easy. So in these candles, the spread is high, the volume is high. It continuing, the spread as compared to the previous candle, little bit low, volume little bit low. It's continuing, three times it can continue, or two times it can continue. After two times, it shows that volume is dropping, volume is falling, there is a Anomaly. When the trend in going in up direction, the volume must increase. That is a sign that this trend will go so much longer. If the price is moving in up direction, but the volume is moving in down direction, both direction must be same in the buyer scandal. But in the seller scandal, these both direction must be changed in the against. But we are talking on the buyer scandal. If the candles is rising here why volume is decreasing there is anomaly there is something wrong you will find the reversal the big reversal in this candle i'm giving you just uh, simple simple examples then we will come to the difficult examples okay do you find the anomaly between two candles Who want to explain me about this? Participate with me, yeah, it's very yeah. important because we are friends here, not I'm your teacher, I'm friend here, okay? You can uh, uh, explore the things and you can expose your ideas. Yes, sir. The first, the first uh, red one, the second one. Yes, the first red one. Yes, sir. The first red one and the second one. And the last two, uh, which you selected. Last the first one yes. is. I'm just asking, uh, Noor. I'm just asking on these two candles. About this. About this. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. The result is. Uh, there is high anomaly. spread. Yes. And and, no the, and the second one is yeah, it's anomaly. Okay, so there is a high spread, and the result is low. It means spread is high. So here what concept is coming? The spread is in this, the effort is high, spread is low. Here the result is high, spread, uh, here the effort is low. Okay. This is the effort, effort is low and result is high. In this candle, the effort is high and result is low. In this candle, the result is low, effort is high. So we find the anomaly between the candles. So these candles, what suggesting us? These candles suggesting that you will find the reversal. Okay? These type of anomalies, when you find, these are the immediate reversals. In these immediate reversal, you can place a one minute or two minute trade. Okay, just I'm... Uh, showing highlights the anomalies and the validation because all the course is depend upon the validation and anomaly. All the candlestick are depending on the validation and anomaly. Okay. Today only I'm talking on the validation and anomaly and then tomorrow I will cover other topics. It's very important. You must not be confused in the validation and anomaly. So in these two candles, do you find the anomaly Uh, now I'm raising yes, 
Anthony, do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, Anthony, now tell me that. Do you find anomaly between two candles? Yes. Okay. Now, do you understand the cause of this candlestick rising up? Yes. Okay. Now, it means we are reading the market. There is, it, um, it, it means we are reading the market. We can understand the message from the candlesticks spread and candlestick volume. And it means we are reading the market that we can understand that is the cause of this green candle. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Okay. It, so we start the reading the market. It's very good thing. Now we are starting the reading market. In this spread, in this spread, which price action pattern forms? Who won't tell me? Engulfing pattern. Engulfing pattern. Okay. If these two candlestick, is these two candlestick, the pattern is engulfing. And these two patterns, if we say which volume is increasing, the seller's volume is increasing or the buyer's volume is increasing? Seller's volume. And this reversal pattern is the seller's reversal pattern or buyer's reversal pattern? Seller's. Okay. It means if this is the seller's reversal pattern and the seller's volume is increasing, what is the sign? Then it continues the market for downtrend downtrend it means if the price action patterns we found in the market and volume is increasing as compared to the patterns that we can understand the market will continue more up or more down once again if the bearish engulfing pattern is a reversal pattern and the volume is increasing on the bearish reversal pattern it shows that it will continue the trend in down direction. Okay? Yes. If, okay. Yes. Okay. So if there is a morning star and the volume is not increasing, can we consider the trend will continue more up? No, it will not. No. 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 It means after no. this green candle, this red candle is come farther coming that it shows that volume is not increasing on the green candle there is a week of buyers it will sellers will continue market okay yes okay so yes yes I, okay uh, slowly, slowly, red, slowly. yes yes hello yes red candle is for the retracement here no it's not a retracement it's not a retracement Okay, now another pattern is appearing here. After morning star, we found the outside bar. So now skip the morning star and follow the outside bar. So outside bar appear here. So outside bar retracement we found here. So these two candles are the retracement of the outside bar. So now you will find the next candlestick goes down. And again, the inside bar retracement this is an inside bar retracement. You found the red candlestick. Again, we found the inside bar. You find the retracement. Again, the market is going down. Understand? So with the candles, with the two candles, with the three candles, again and again, you are finding the price action patterns. Here we found the morning star. Here we found the outside bar. Here we found again inside bar. Here we found the retracement is completed of the outside bar. The market goes down. In this pattern, we found again inside bar. And after inside bar, that is the retracement of inside bar. And here, after retracement, market goes down. Again, we found the inside bar. That is the retracement of inside bar. Again, market goes down. Okay? From the pattern, from the pattern. Market is moving like that. We just to understand the movement of the market with the volume analysis. So, teacher. Yes, brother. We, 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 we should combine price action with the volume PSA. Yes. Yes, it's very important. The isolation. Isolation is one concept. If you only apply the volume analysis, it will work little. If only you apply the price action, it will work little. If both you will combine the things, the price action and the volume analysis, it will work 
like a bomb. Okay? Okay. Okay. So the anomalies. So there is a sign of continuation. If this candle we found with the low result, this type of volume, and the next candlestick, the result is increasing, also volume is increasing. Is that validation? Yes. So if there is a validation, if there is a validation, the next candlestick more going in up direction. Okay. Now here, this is spread. You, you consider the size and consider this size. This size is less than this size. So volume must be less than this size. Is there less? It means it's a validation. Yes. yes. So the next candlestick going up. Okay. Yes. If this candlestick is a 10% of this candlestick, or 20% if you can consider. If the 10% candlestick have this type of volume and above 80%, just increasing little bit more, is there is an anomaly between the candles? Yes. 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 So that's why you find the reversal in the candle. Now you are getting the concepts. Yes. Okay. So it may, each and every minute you will find the opportunity with the VSA analysis. Okay. I'm going slowly, slowly. Okay. I'm not uh, going so much uh, fast because I want to clear the basic information. Then I will give you the difficult task. Then you can understand so much more. So in this scenario, that is a spread and you look at the volume. Okay. So we wait and this spread appear, the little bit spread, the volume decreasing from the previous candle. So is it validating? Yes. And the validating, if the validating, the next spread is going in up direction. Okay. Yes. And if the validating, it means now this price and the volume is increasing. It's also validating. That's why the market is going in up direction. But okay. sir. Yes. But, uh, sir, when I consider. Just a moment. I, when I consider. Mm -hmm. When I consider this candle. Mm -hmm. And this. Mm -hmm. This is a very small spread, huge spread, but the volume has increased just yes. marginally. Yes, yes, that is a question. I want to uh, wait for this question that someone asked me, then I can tell him about this question. Okay. If you find this type of candle and so much high volume, if this type of candle you find and so much high volume you find, so what is the psychology? It means in this rejection, the seller's effort is so much high. If, the, if someone put the effort so much high, then what will show? The result will show increase. Yes, yes. In this rejection, do you find the result is increasing? No. No. It means in this rejection, the result is not increasing. It means there are no seller in the, this rejection. The sellers are not powerful in this rejection because that is a sign that result is not increasing. It means sellers have no power. The buyers have a power. That's why that candlestick is continuing. Okay. If you find the so much, so much volume in this candle, the so much volume in this candle, the next candlestick will go down. So now okay. here this candle. Do you find the high volume from the previous candle? Yes. Because there is a rejection of the sellers, okay? And the volume is increasing from the previous candle. Do you find the reversal? Yes. Yes. Now you understand the wicks? Yes. So okay, so so and and uh, a normal, like a dodge should have a high volume if uh, there's a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Will the, I be right to say so? Okay. 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 I'm giving you answer. Look at it. These all candles have a name in the VSA. 
okay yes. these all candles have a name these all candles have a concept these all candles have a criteria that is uh, in the next topic i will give you the name of these candlestick there are 18 names okay these when i am talking on the 18 strategies there are the 18 names 18 strategies all the movements all the anomalies all the validations have a name i will teach you by the name when this trend is going in up direction so which concept is falling in this con this movement then you can understand when i saw when i ask you where is the down thrust if you don't know about the down thrust then you cannot give me the understanding about the down thrust if just you know the anomaly and the validation you can trade with the anomaly and the validation but you don't know the concept why what is the cause of the market is going in up direction okay so this candlestick in the vsa it shows there is a no supply from the sellers because the volume of this candle is low from previous two candles from previous two bars the volume is low of this candlestick and this candlestick shows me that there is no supply from the sellers that's why market is increasing for so much high so there are candles no supply bar no demand bar up thrust inverse up thrust pseudo up thrust pseudo inverse up thrust down thrust inverse down thrust pseudo inverse down thrust pseudo down thrust so there are so many concept i will give you all the concept with the name you can recognize all the setup by the name you can write the name sir because of this name because of this concept i place a call option for 5 minute it goes up okay but now we are just talking on the anomaly and validation okay so anomaly and validation is very important that is a basic part of this vsa okay sir i have a question sir yes yeah. ask me ask me in this week candle if we revert the weeks i mean if we get a, a lower weeks is lower i mean the lower weeks will be bigger but the upper weeks will be smaller so the volume will be lower so that is mean that is anomaly or market will reverse or market will continue no 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 if the if you find the lower week then volume must be increased if the lower week is bigger than the upper week then volume volume must be bigger volume must increase okay if we get a lower volume then how no when you find this type of candle i i understand your question you said that if i found this type of candle and this type of high wick okay so and then yes. then if the volume is increasing that then the, it's a continuation sign if volume is not increasing that is a that is a reversal sign again okay so i will give you all the concept just we covered the anomaly because some uh, members are uh, uh, they know about the a little bit about the volume analysis and uh, some members are new so that's why i start the basic and you know that always i'm starting from the basic if someone know or not know i start from the basic so again your concept coming here look at this candle do you find the lower wick the volume is increasing that is a sign that market is going in up direction understand now yes sir okay because here the buyers pressure sir yes okay. because of the buyers pressure because of the buyers pressure the volume is increasing okay so there is again we found the anomaly between the sellers and buyers so, uh, sellers look okay. at the high spread bar low volume the low spread bar high volume so that is a sign of reversal okay so that is a sign of reversal in this sign of reversal you will find market will change the direction okay brother so today we finish this session here now you practice on the market about the validation and anomaly that if the bearish or bullish result is high than the effort then you can no make the notes draw on the pictures write on the pictures if you want yes this assignment will give you benefit this is assignment only give benefit to you that if you clear your concept you can 
trade profitably in the market. But if you don't uh, uh, complete the assignments, then it will give you uh, not good winning ratio. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yes, Zakir. Yes, I already asked a question in uh, chat, chat section. Could okay. you please say this? Okay. So uh, here, Zakir, sir, I'm getting different volume in different pair. Example, Euro USD, USD is where you can check this pair. This, what different pair? I mean, they have uh, two different volume. Because in Euro USD, okay, you okay, okay, okay. No, no. Only you will find the volume uh, indicator from here. Okay. No, sir. Can you open the uh, USD, USD JPY? Yeah, yeah. There is a USD JPY. Yes. Uh, you can see the volume. Yes. Some, some of the volume is too big, or some of the too is small. But in Euro USD. We are hmm. getting only the, the higher volume, always bigger, bigger volume. So it means that market is not a good market. That's why there is no volume in this market because this market close on the close on the Friday before closing the New York session. This uh, so, you can, so on the Friday, the yes, you on the Friday you will see this type of volume. That is a not good market. You cannot trade in this market. You will find the uh, crazy movements in this market. So if you go in the previous and the other session, so it will give you the understanding about the good market. So now the volume is okay. Okay, the volume is okay. You, you consider the high volume pairs, the Euro USD, USD CAD, AUD USD. Okay, these pairs you use for the volume, which give you both good understanding about the volume. So in the previous, you will see the volume. Look at the volume is increasing. The trend is going in up direction. So, but the, all the things are same. There is no change in the volume. Okay. There is no change, any information. Just if you don't find the good volume, it means this pair is not producing the volume. So it means the buyers and sellers are not interested to buy and sell this type of currency, this type of asset. So buyers and sellers are not interested. But in the Euro USD, in the USD CAD, are interested. They are creating the demand. So this is the most most liquid uh, 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 liquid currency. Okay. So now consider uh, 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 you must complete the assignment which I gave you. You just to find out the anomaly and the validation in the candles, and then. You must compare the bearish result with the bearish effort and bullish result with the bearish uh, bullish effort. So these things must co uh, complete today. Tomorrow when you come in the session, I must check the assignment. It's very important that I can understand which member is still not getting the concept that I can clear him and then I go for the next session, for the next lesson. Okay, it's very important because when uh, I uh, announce the course, so their people, their traders have so much hope with me. They, they, they have so many hopes to beat the market, to earn the money. Okay, if I'm just passing the time here, so that's not true. That is not fair. So I want you must be profitable in this course. You must complete the assignments. It's very important. All the assignments will benefit to you. Okay, brothers, so complete the assignment. If you not understand the assignment, you can write me message. I will clear you. And all the assignment you send here in this course, in this uh, group, okay? All the assignment you must, all the members must send the assignments in this group. It's very important, not send me personally. And you can ask the question in this group that all the members can see your question if they have a, uh, not understanding about that uh, idea that they can understand, so all can benefit it with these uh, things. Okay, so brother, I'm, uh, I have another session at 30 p.m. and I'm uh, finishing this meeting. And tomorrow on the same Sir. time we will continue. Yes, brother. How many do you need for assignment? How many? Minimum. How many examples do you want from us? So when you feel that you are now totally understand the concept 
okay. then you you can uh, give five example two example three example just i want to uh, understand that you understand all the concept which i give to you in this first session okay okay, okay. so if, if i clear the four topics you must uh, give me the four answers if i give you two topics you must give me two answers okay 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 brother thank you so much see you again